Exogenous ketones. Have you heard of them? Well, I was first introduced to them by one of my old doctors and uh, he gave these to me and he was kind of like pretty hyped up about it. And at the time I didn't really want to hear about it, but it was very interesting uh, after doing some research. And the reason why I kind of brought these back in the loop is because when people work with me and especially when we're working into belly burn challenges, we often do very deep fasts such as like a 24 hour or 20 hour fast and a 24 hour fast. And in that time, we often have major energy depletions. And so these exogenous ketones came to my mind as to something that I would actually like to try in a small sample of people. And after trying it with a few people, the main thing I asked them is, do they notice any energy changes? And usually when we're doing the fasting and we're in lower calories, the first thing you're gonna notice is that you don't have energy, right? You're gonna have brain fog, you're gonna have fatigue, and you're just gonna feel like you can't go through the day. And when I do my challenges, that's often the case when we're in our lower calories towards the end of a challenge and when we're doing bigger fasts. And I was like, how can we get around this? How can we not feel like this? Like I wanna continue this method because it's 100% proven to work, but how do I get away from feeling so tired? And so I started doing more research on these exogenous ketones. And to be honest with you, it's really hard to find any real research on it, which tells me that it's not a popular supplement. Now it does exist and some people are heavy into it, but I just feel like the mass market never got a hold of it. And so everything that I've done is based around the clients that have used it. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know if it's the cure all end all, but the clients that I work with, haven't had any energy depletions, especially when they're doing their, their deeper fast, including myself. And you guys that have been following me know that I'm a big, big advocate of intermittent fasting. I often fast 16 to 18 hours daily, but in these challenges, my calories are a little bit lower and my fasts are a little bit longer, which means that I still need the energy to play with the kids. I need the energy to make these videos. I need the energy to coach. I need the energy to work out myself. And so these exogenous ketones kind of came to mind. So what do they actually do? Well, when you're in a fasted state, when your blood sugars are low, you're basically adding ketones into your body. And that's what these are, they're exogenous ketones. So you get them externally. Now, what the claims are is that it's supposed to turn your fat into almost an immediate fuel source, but it does take about two hours is what they say. So you have to be in a fasted state for at least two hours. And so the best time to take them is first thing in the morning, because generally speaking, when you're working with me, you're not going to eat it, you know, right away as soon as you get up. Like there's not many people that work with me that wake up and have a piece of toast or go to McDonald's and get like a double double with a muffin. Like often people are just having black coffee or with stevia or tea with stevia, water, and then they get on with their day and most people won't eat until like 11, 12, right? And so these exogenous ketones are supposed to help your body utilize that, that your fat as fuel. So it's supposed to wake your brain up. It's supposed to give you energy. You're not supposed to have any real fatigue. Now you ask, well, how much should you be taking? Well, the research that does exist says that you wanna be taking anywhere from three to six grams a day. And you're gonna notice that um, you're gonna be thirsty, right? Because in these exogenous ketones, it has three things. It has sodium, it has calcium, and it has magnesium. And so anytime you introduce more sodium into your body, you, of course you're gonna create more thirst, right? Like your body's gonna actually hold the water a little bit better, a little bit more. And as such, your body's gonna demand more water. But this is actually a good thing for most people that are in a belly burn because when you're in a challenge, you're often eating a lot cleaner. And we all know that when we eat foods that are processed or when we go out to eat, like it doesn't matter if it's a healthy restaurant, they're still adding like lots of fat, lots of salt, because those are like the main things that your body want, like, like that you'll crave for, right? So they need to make the food tasty. And so when you're in a clean eating pattern, well, guess what? Your sodium levels are probably depleted. And when your sodium levels are depleted, well, there's a lot of things that happen with your muscles that they can't contract. In fact, some people get headaches because of the clean, like the clean eating. And so they need to create a balance of sodium potassium. So these, these BHBs are fantastic for those, for, for those of us that are clean eating and are in a challenge. Now, you can spread the, like for me, I take the powdered form. This is just what I had 
my, when my doctor gave it to me, but they do come in pill form. So if you can take your three to six grams first thing in the morning, boom, done. If it comes in pill form, get it in. Now, sometimes, you know, you don't want to put all of this into you, right? Three to six grams of this, uh, and you don't want to down it right away, then that's fine. You can spread it out, but just as long as you don't eat within two hours of taking the exogenous ketones. Now, there haven't really been seen any side effects to them, but at very high doses, like 10 grams or more, you could potentially get an upset stomach or even a, like, you can get a little bit of runny poops, right? You can get some diarrhea just because the sodium, magnesium, and calcium levels are probably just a little bit off. But generally speaking, I haven't found any major side effects. And in fact, the people that have been taking it haven't reported any stomach issues. And remember, if you're in a fasted state, that's when your body is like more susceptible to the things that you take. So if you want to know if something is going to work or how your body is going to respond, take it in a fasted state because when you're in that state, your body is like immediately using, utilizing it, breaking it down. And within an hour, you should know whether or not it's good for you or bad for you. Okay. Now, what should you notice? The, the things that you should notice is, again, you shouldn't notice. And that's what you want to do is that you want to be in a lower calorie state and you want to be fasted and you want to be utilizing your fat as fuel. And so when you wake up in the next three or four hours before you eat your first meal, you don't want to feel hungry. You don't want to feel tired. You don't want to feel groggy. So you shouldn't feel any of those. Will you feel euphoric and this is going to give you a big pick me up? No, but you shouldn't notice a change. And in fact, that's what everybody has been noticing. So does it work or not? We don't know. But let's try not being on it and do the same amount of fasting hours and the lower calories and see how you feel. And so the difference is how people have been feeling. And so, you know, for me, I think that this is a great supplement that you can utilize into a challenge. I don't know if you necessarily need to take it for a very long time. I think that when you're in a challenge, you're clean eating, your calories are low and you're doing deeper fasts, that this supplement is something that is is a great addition to the rest of your supplement arsenal you probably only need it you know based on the research it doesn't take time to build up into your system it it should act almost instantaneous so if you take it that day it should work right away but you can you have to make sure that you're actually in a fasted state so if you ate a bunch of garbage the night before let's say you're it's a saturday night and you went to a wedding and you had like a bunch of cakes and breads and this and that you know, it takes time for your body to process that. So if you take these exogenous ketones in the morning, well, your body's still metabolizing the carbohydrates and sugars that you had and fats that you had the night before. So it probably won't work, but when you're in a challenge and you've been eating clean for, you know, six, seven days straight and your calories are a little bit lower and your fast is a little bit longer, these exogenous ketones could be the answer to your brain fatigue, your body fatigue, and overall just kind of feeling good first thing in the morning. So. That's exogenous ketones, guys. I hope you liked the video.